Opportunity to whip it in. Ake and Steve Cook have come forward from the back. There's a one-man Huddersfield wall, which is Alex Pritchard. He's one of the smaller men in their team. He's more of a token gesture than a wall. I call him more a pile of rubble. And it comes from Fraser. They've... Wilson! Onside goal! Absolutely almost the same as last year when Callum Wilson stole in against Huddersfield. They were flat, Wilson was alive and he headed it into the back of the net with exactly five minutes gone. The Cherries on the board here, 1-0 up against Huddersfield. There's one on one of the markers right at the end of the queue. Played Callum on. I thought he was massive offside, but it just shows you what the human eye just can't see. Great goal. Well, it's a great header from Callum Wilson, who scores yet again, second game in a row. And Wilson now up against Zanka, one-on-one, he's got Fraser in ocean to space, Fraser running onto it, 2-0! Wilson this time the provider, Fraser the scorer, and Bournemouth double their advantage in the first corner of the game here. It came from a Huddersfield mistake on the halfway line, but Bournemouth made them pay, 2-0. Well, it was the KFC gang, Kingy, with the ball, the fantastic pass, Callum takes it in his stride, knocks it across to Fraser, who puts it through the keeper's legs. He often takes up, he's able to head it away. Works his way back to Aaron Moy, over on the right-hand side now, who cuts onto his left foot and floats the ball into the penalty area. Up go the heads, nodded back in towards Zanko, who stayed forward, and then Dequatra's in there as well, and the head is into the back of the net, and it's Congolo. Who has half the deficit for Huddersfield? The Dutchman with his first goal of the season. It looked a bit tame, it just looped towards the corner of the goal. What we talked about, the threat of the set piece, and Huddersfield are back in the game through Terence Congolo. Well, three headers it took. We didn't win one of them. Manny's just lobbed it over the goalkeeper, couldn't get near it. I did have a feeling something like that was going to happen after say. That may well be enough, Begovic's touch is heavy, he's cleared it away, it's all over!